ask Tom on home show. Kim from Taylor Lake Village needs a little insulation advice. Yeah, it's lasted for 30 years, Tom, but now it needs an update. Kim writes, our two-story all brick house has elevated a full story on piers, like a beach house. The crawl space is bricked with a sand floor, and um, our subfloor is insulated with rolled fiberglass insulation. We've had no issues for 30 years. However, last year, much of the insulation started to fail. We, we had termites last year, which destroyed some of the subfloor, but there are other places where the subfloor is warping. I think it's from moisture from under the house. I plan to remove the insulation and replace it. What's the best way to do this? Uh, just replace it and get another 30 years or more out of the insulation. Now, what when as Charlie was reading this to me, and it's the first time I've, I've really seen this question, I kept thinking, you got a moisture problem. And I'll tell you why. First off, it started to fail, and if it's fiberglass, it doesn't fail unless it gets wet. Secondly, he mentioned termites. Termites only go where you have a moisture problem. Then thirdly, Charlie, as you were reading through the question, just to confirm, you know, three strikes and you're in, in this case, uh, it's a rotting subfloor. So somehow there's some water somewhere, whether it's coming from the house, whether it's a pipe, whether it's a sweating air conditioning refrigeration line, I'm not sure, or is it just to a point now where more water's puddling underneath the house and you need to put some more sand under there and keep it drier? Uh, that means maybe drainage systems or redoing your landscaping on the outside. you got a water issue. You fix the water issue, it stays dry under there. Just go ahead and put back the insulation as it was before. And 30, 35 years, I doubt I'll be on the air, but if I am, you can call me back and see what we can do with your next round, but that's a long time from now. <laughs> so I could tell my wife, yes, we can be married 50 years. I'll have to live to be 107, but, you know, it's possible. Yes. Um, my father said he could, but he didn't make it. He got close, though. Now, Tom, you're talking yes. about the moisture under that house. Yes. Where do you start the search? I mean, because you, you said roof, it could be grading, it could be a refrigeration line or a pipe. Where would you start your search in, in figuring so, out this Somebody out? Gotta go, has to go crawl under that house and start to look. You know, Charlie, you always make fun. And stick your, you don't know if it's wet until you stick your finger in it. If the subfloor is damp and, and, and poking through, I suspect you've got some rain coming in from the walls and it's crawling along that floor, maybe between a vinyl floor or a carpet or a tile and, and the wood itself. And it's, it, to me, it would be coming from the top down. And I'll tell you why, because the insulation was the last thing that failed because as the water would slow, it didn't have to be a lot. It can be just heavy humidity coming down. It's pushing that insulation down because it gets in it and makes it heavy. And so I don't think it's coming from the bottom because you could easily see that and you need to do an inspection to make sure it's dry under there. But I suspect that where the walls meet the floor, if it's on the top, or if you have a plumbing leak uh, underneath a cabinet or something, or a shower pan that's leaking, which it could be in an area like that, I would look at the top area because I have a feeling that water's migrating down. The termites saw it, loved it, and went up there and they had a lovely life. All right. Well, we want you to have a lovely life. So click on the Ask Tom button and Tom will help you out just like that. Um, and you can send us a video. I would love to have seen a picture of that area underneath there. I think yeah. it really helped us understand it. Um, and so please do that. You can see where it says pictures help. Go ahead and add a picture to your question and it'll help us do a better job answering not only for you, but for anybody else who may be having a, a similar struggle. And that's what we want to do. Um, and it's why we post a new one of these every day uh, on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, Home Show Radio YouTube channel and uh, homeshowradio.com.